Hello, my name is Jessica Crunkleton. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, licensed mental health counselor, certified alcohol drug abuse counselor, approved EMDR consultant, EMDR trainer in training, uh, sand tray therapist, and a bunch of other stuff. So today I would like to share with you a way that I do EMDR target sequence planning sand tray style, but this is a special one, Home Alone edition. Kevin McAllister is one of my favorite characters. So let's check out how it would look if Kevin McAllister walked into my office. So this is what his century uh, target sequence plan might look like. So number one, on the negative side, we have the incident. So this is the negative side, this is the positive. This is I'm a bad kid, this is I'm a good kid. So on the negative side, we have uh, what a lady at church where um, he had did something, him and his brother had got into it. And then one of the part of the scene fell over um, when she was playing the piano and hit her in the head. And then here we have him and his brother Buzz arguing about pizza. He got in trouble for that. His cousin Fuller likes to drink Pepsi and pees in the bed and the family makes him sleep together. Um, this is a big one. His family left him home alone and went on a trip without him. Um, he took his brother's tarantula, his brother Buzz's tarantula out and the, bun the um, tarantula was in the house. His um, uncle Frank, he had recorded part of him singing um, on his recorder. Again, his family left him on the second trip to New York. And then the future one is if his family left him again, that would be a future fear. On this side, or a future reason why he would feel like I'm not good enough or I'm a bad kid. Now, on the other side, he does have the positives. Um, where he did get to sing in the choir. That was a positive. I'm a good kid. He did take care of himself in Home Alone 1, the first movie. Um, he was able to get food, little Nero, Nero's pizza, and he took good care of himself. He made friends with the older gentleman that everybody was afraid of. He did all those trap, booby traps and things and got the, um, the wet bandits. He stopped them from robbing people, called the police and got them arrested. On the second one, Home Alone 2, he was again able to use his recording device um, in order to help him get to be able to stay at the Plaza Hotel. He made friends with the, the lady um, with the birds in the park that some people were afraid of, all right? He also, once again, created a number of traps to stop the wet bandits, well this time the sticky bandits, from doing what they were doing. Um, they were trying to rob Duncan's toy store. And then later in the movie, at Duncan's toy store, the gentleman sent over a bunch of um, Christmas presents for Kevin and his family to the hotel. So this is the positive side. This is the negative side, the way I would do it. I'm gonna have them tap in all the positive, six to eight slow short sets. Um, and then when I get to phase three, he'll pick out one of these incidents and we'll target those with EMDR. All right, happy holidays. See ya.